Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Pisces. This reading is for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north known Virgo. Holy Spirit, angel guides, what is the full moon, the portal, the new moon, and the full moon again? What is August all about? For Virgo, Holy Spirit, the full moon, the portal is 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay. First card. Yes. Wow. Wow. Virgo. This is a new cycle. People are going to get their karma. This is all about karma when it's reverse. Yeah. Whatever you do, it comes back to you. What's coming back to you? Things are changing. Uh, the full moon brings an ending to a cycle. Mm hmm the Wheel of Fortune reverse, it could involve a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, but something didn't happen. I always, I also hear that somebody is receiving their karma for sure. Tell me more, Spirit. Ace of Pentacles. What else for Virgo under this full moon? Yes, there you are. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Spirit said leave it. And he said to show you this. Because you have the Nine of Pentacles. This is coming, Ten of Pentacles. You're just one pentacle away. I think that one pentacle will represent itself in terms of a person. I don't know why I say that. This is called a reconciliation or hanging out, drinking, eating. All right, let's see what Spirit has to say. Remember this Ten of Pentacles and the fact that you're in the Nine of Pentacles at the center of the reading is the Nine. And for me, that means it impacts the past, the current, and the future. That is you, Virgo. Stable. Always counting your Pentacles. I see you budgeting right now. Sometimes we don't have enough. There's a lot more month left at the end of the money. That's what I'm feeling. It's like you're trying to hold on to some money too. You've been under some bad karma, negative cycle, a negative spell, something that's coming to an end where your pentacles are. Here's your 10th pentacle, the ace of pentacles. Damn. This is current energy. Think about what this ace represents for you. This is the Lion's Gate portal on 8-8 eight, eight, coming through. It's an annual portal that focuses on manifesting what it is that you want. Manifestation is supposed to be at its highest point on that day. Save it in your calendar. I have to do that too, so I remember. But it is all about you. The nines are all about self, your foundation, your stability, your security, your being some why does hmm, Virgo makes others feel uncomfortable I don't know why I don't know why uh, somebody could have poured out your cup could have something to do with them not being emotionally available but that was the past and the wheel turns, whether the card is upright or reverse, right? We know everybody gets what they deserve, including you, including me. We all do, right? Mm -hmm. But I see there's some concern still up ahead in the future, okay? There is. There's some concern. Um, you're still holding back where your finances are concerned. And then there is the Nine of Wands. I also hear, be careful what you ask for. 
you know be careful what you manifest look at this the five of pentacles yeah i feel like there is some financial misfortune a lot more of the month left at the end of the money mm. but you know spirit is with you again whether they're upright or reverse they still are major arcanas um the world the wheel reverse the hangman reverse so I definitely feel that you are coming out with the Ten of, I mean the World, rather, card, which is an end of the cycle, and the Hangman Reverse, it's changing. August brings in a change, a feeling alone. Some of you are feeling alone, and that change is that somebody is coming. Somebody is coming because Spirit of reminded us of the three of cups the ace of pentacles and you being the nine of pentacles yes transformation is occurring you know with all of this energy the moon there's two full moons i've never seen a month that had two full moons this is rare they're super moons which are rare full moons and also this portal this portal is all about you manifesting your abundance focusing on what you want that what this ace of pentacles means for you because the past is replaced with this ace of pentacles making you the ten of pentacles remember i showed you that right more major arcan is here mm. this is what this portal is all about only give your attention your energy to your wish fulfillment this is a time where you you know they say that everybody gets 10 minutes of stardom this is yours um, you're the star you're also doing something that's healing maybe you're a doctor or a nurse or somehow or a reader or an empath or you're something that uh, spirit uses to heal others healing is very important at this time during this month throughout the month spirit just said but this is about this ace of pentacles let's get back to that because the star also represents a wish fulfillment definitely that's coming in things are changing this feeling of being alone abandoned not having enough there's lack here mm. okay all of that is transforming something new is here with the ace of pentacles it's gonna make you feel good a reward with the six of wands a reward for being recognized for doing something above and beyond yes you're gonna get your reward you know sometimes people always get what they deserve even if it's good that's right eventually it comes eventually it comes definitely you get it if it's bad but even when it's good you get a reward i think it pertains to love i want to say that yeah it has to do with love um, maybe what happened in the past also had to do with love. Yes, but somehow I think this is a love that's going to fall right in your lap. Notice the uh, blessings from above because these are falling from above. There's nothing else there. So they're falling right into her lap. Something is falling into your lap that's going to be successful, meaning... You know, nature is doing its thing and bringing it to you. Spirit is bringing something to you. It deals with love. Don't question love at this time. Okay, yes, that's what I'm being told. Don't question it. If it's loving, if it's kind, just be receptive to it. It's going to fall right into your lap. The star is here. It's a wish fulfillment. Tell me more for Virgo. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you definitely are 
vibrating high you're getting along with people this month you'll see that also is going to fall in your lap that also makes you the nine of pentacles look here you're the nine of pentacles at the center and then you're the nine of pentacles because something falls into your lap in terms of could be a job your money situation because you were worried in the past but i see that's changing you're gonna get something that you're due yes yes this ace of pentacles it looks like a financial stabilizing secure energy that comes in to make your foundation firm again could even be a person you may get a job and a person whoo because i tell me more spirit tell me more for virgo under this remember eight eight is about receiving abundance manifesting something that makes you better that adds to you right and um when you turn it on its side, it's also abundance, right? And eight is abundance, but when it's turned on its side, it's infinity, which is also infinite abundance. Oof, it's just, whoa. And, and you soar right through this, and that's current energy. And then in the future is new energy, Virgo. New energy. Yes, I see you working diligently. Your head is down. You're focused. You're focused. And I don't see that energy changing. You know, all of that helps to bring you exactly what you want. This is you. You're focused. Didn't I say you're focused? Your head is down. You're very introspective at this time, this month. Why? Because the sun comes. Hard work pays off. Anything you're focused on, um, anything you apply energy to, it brings in whatever it is. Whatever you were applying that energy to, manifesting, love, a job, good relationships, good time. August does not leave the way that it comes in. Yeah, I do feel like you're a healer. You uh, support others, always lending a hand, um, trying to help, be helpful, be healing, be encouraging. That's you, always lending a hand. So I do feel you're getting karma, but you know, it's good karma. It's good karma. It's paying off. There's some value to this month for you. It doesn't and the way it started. What else for Virgo spirit? Okay, that's it for those. Okay, do you want to tell me something else for Virgo for the month of August? Mm, inquiring minds want to know. Okay, he's telling me to put these down and pick these up. Good old romance angels, Virgo. Yes, Spirit, tell me about this 8 day portal in love and the new moon directly behind that. Oof, what begins? What is new with the sun here? Mm, okay, for some of you, it's a reconciliation with this Three of Cups, but it's a different time. It's not like the last time. You two have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. You go deep. You go deep because somebody's looking to strengthen a bond. If there's someone returning, they want to strengthen things with you. Yeah, keep them honest. Make them be honest and you be honest. And I don't know. We'll see because the sun is here. This is somebody that you wanted that you'll even consider. Oof. Okay, for others of you, you're releasing your ex. You are because it's time to move on. With all of this energy converging in August, you want something new. This represents something new um, because you're spending quality time and so on yourself. And so when you invest in yourself, you're not going to go backwards. You're definitely going forward. You're clearing your energy and you're going to use this portal to really 
make sure that your energy is open so that something else can be transmitted to you. Yeah. Tran I felt like transformation, transmuted, transmitted, something new is coming in. Oof. Okay. Too many cards, Spirit. Please. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, this is about you taking back your freedom so that you're ready uh, for whatever lies ahead. What does lie ahead for Virgo, Spirit? All right, can we use this deck now? What does lie ahead for Virgo? After Virgo is the hermit, clears their energy, they're free, they're in control of themselves again. Good things are happening. Mm -hmm. What happens? Mm. Spirit said with this person, this is the past person. Forgiveness is a liberating choice. Ooh. Okay, excuse me. He just said, in either circumstance, whether you um, take them back or you totally let them go. Forgiveness is a liberating choice because forgiveness is about leaving the past behind. If you take them back, you got to forgive them, right? If you move forward, you want to forgive so you can leave the past behind, not hold any grudges or bitterness or anything that shouldn't be entertained in this future energy, right? Because, come on, you've got the Nine of Pentacles twice. A lot of movement where something was insecure or unstable. Your money wasn't right. Whatever it was, you felt alone. Now is the time to let go of the past. Because this month is all about change. Whatever your mindset is, Virgo, is the change that you're going to experience, however vast and however limiting. That's why spirit is like, take a brush, clean, do some cleaning, sweep, you know, clear any type of past residual energy. Forgive, forget. Let's go forward. You'll never forget. Let's face it. Okay. The wrong word, but forgive because that allows you to move forward. Mm -hmm. That brings you this freedom. Something good is up ahead. Mm. Ooh, because this is that Neptune energy in Pisces today. Lessons of Neptune. Denial, illusions, deception by self or by another. Self-love boundaries and detachment are important. That's all of this clear your energy, right? He's saying make sure there's nothing residual hanging in there. Uh-huh. Do not elude yourself about the importance of letting go of the past, this person, of clearing your energy. Because what's in the future is really the best for you. Yeah, the future holds the best outcome. That's what I just heard. If you're able to identify with something that was said, Virgo, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. This is a transformative month. The way you came in is not the way you're going to go out. Everybody's going to be changed by this month. There's too much energy for you not to be changed, right? Just don't get caught up in any illusions, right? For, for a lot of you, I mean, you have free will, so I don't really know how it's going to turn out, but I do think you're going forward. I think that you are going on a new journey. You have the hermit, the star, and the sun. Future energy, this new moon comes in. You know, I don't see you under any illusions for this portal. You know, you know what you want to do. You already know. The hangman's here. You already know there's too many majors. You're the hermit. You know what you're going to do. So focus on that for 8-8. Eight, eight. Focus on it turning out positively. You know, focus on whatever it is that you want to do, giving you the a blessed result and it shall happen. It will happen. This is the month. If there ever was a time to believe, this is the time. Believe, believe. 
All right, Virgo. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. I'm going to pray for you in this situation. Listen to the readings for the other signs in your birth chart. Hit that notification. Share the video if you think it'll help somebody. Mm -hmm. And until the next moon phase, namaste.